Good afternoon. I started work at seven today, which means that I finished at three, technically. I um, actually, they let me go early at two. I've been working at a different workplace for the past four shifts. I was helping out the people that write our rostering and doing all that sort of stuff and they were pretty grateful that I helped out. So they let me go early and it was good because I got to make those connections with the people that write my roster and determine where I work and what shifts and stuff. So if ever I need a favour in future, I'll be able to probably get their help because now they know me and got to spend some time with me. So while the job I did for this week wasn't that interesting, it's going to help me in future. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm not running today. I ran the last three days, so I think it's time for a rest day and I'm going to be doing a long run tomorrow. So it's definitely, I'm definitely due for a rest day. Um, I'll probably try and stretch at some point tonight just so that I'm a bit limber. I once again still can't be bothered going to the gym, so I'm not going to make myself feel guilty or force myself. It's going to be something that I keep saying in the past couple of weeks that I'm going to have to make my mind up about, but <laughs> I can see my body changing a lot lost so much muscle in my upper body and my back and my arms and my shoulders but it is what it is I was saying to Emily I think what's probably going to be the most ideal situation for me is doing a, an at home sort of workout bodyweight workout routine that goes for less than half an hour so that I'm doing about two hours of exercise maximum each day but we'll see um, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I'm now up to 53 books read for the year, which is pretty damn good. I just finished reading Dylan Olcott's book. Um, he is a Paralympian and Australian Open wheelchair tennis ch champion by four. He won it four times. Um, it's just really cool. Probably, probably challenged a couple of biases that I held about disabled people just opened my eyes to the fact that when they are represented in the media they're often represented in a really negative light like it's a bad thing to be disabled as opposed to looking on the positive side of things I don't know so yeah it was a really good book that taught me a lot um, I'm now listening to a book called Read Me First I'm not loving it but I'm already probably 30% of the way through it so I figure I might as well finish it um, and hopefully it changes my mind towards the end and I can like it a little bit more. Um, I am literally, I'm reading a lot of proper books uh, or two and I'm like a quarter of the way through one, not even a quarter and then halfway through another. I'm just inundated at the moment with books to read. Um, it's not a bad thing though. Um, but I reckon I'll be 60 books. I reckon I'll read 10 books this month easy because I'm already up to 53 and it's only the third day of the month. Anyway, um, I, Emily's going out with work friends tonight. Um, I'm just going to chill at home. I'm going to do what I did the other day on my day off and just relax at home and have some chicken and veggies for dinner and just chill. I don't really feel like watching anything. I might have a nap or something. It's only four o'clock, so I could probably nap for an hour or so and then look at having dinner. But I feel really chill. I feel really relaxed. I'm looking forward to my friend's engagement party tomorrow. I should probably go and buy an engagement card um, and get some cash out to put into it. But it is what it is. I should probably pick out the dress I'm going to wear and stuff for tomorrow as well. But for right now, I'm just going to chill, keep listening to my book, maybe read some physical books. Um, but yeah, it'll be more than a two take, one take today. I mean, I just actually edited all the vlogs, including yesterday. So all, all, I say all them, but I haven't fallen behind again. So I edited yesterday and the day before. Um, and um, I have the intention of having this vlog edited before I go to sleep. I think that's probably the best routine for me personally, is making sure that I edit the vlog on the day that I make it so that I can have it ready to go. But anyway, this is a long clip already, so I'm going to stop it here. I just finished my 54th book of the year. I just realised before, without even realising it at the time, that I surpassed the benchmark that would have equated for reading one book every week for the entire year. <laughs> and we're only four months in, so that's a pretty cool metric. Um, so the 54th book was God Read Me First by Lisa Stevenson. She's like an Australian motivational speaker. Um, to be quite honest, I'd probably give the book about three stars. It's probably one of the least favourite ones that I've read. Um, 
And if it were any longer, like I listened to this one, if it were any longer, I probably would not have listened to it because it was only about four and a half hours long. By the time I got about an hour in and realised I wasn't that into it, I figured I might as well finish it. Um, she, like at the beginning, was like, this is not a self-help book. But then it was a self-help book. All it was was like lists and write this out, grab your pen, write this out. Like more of a self-help book than any self-help book I've read this year. And that's probably why I didn't enjoy it. Anyway, um, I am now moving on to Barking Up the Wrong Tree. And I've listened to a little bit of it. It's good. I think tomorrow my loan of When Breath Becomes Air becomes available, which is a story written by a guy who had cancer and he died half, like part of the way through writing the book. So it'd be pretty interesting. Um, but yeah. I'm going to try and focus on one book at a time because I'm literally reading about four books at the one time. Like at the end of the day, I can handle it and there's a reason I do it because that's the way my brain works. I think it's very fragmented. Um, but yeah, I'd like to get to the point where it's just one audio book and just one physical book that I'm reading at a time. At the moment, it's like two e-books, two physical books, two audio books. It's too many. So yeah. We'll see how I go though. Anyway, I've just chilled all night. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell that story. I decided, because I don't have warm showers, I have cold showers, I haven't had a, haven't had a warm shower since I got back from Japan. I decided to treat myself tonight and have a warm bath. Anyway, I made a coffee and then I spilled it on myself just as I was getting into the bath and it fucking killed. Thankfully I'm not gonna blister or anything from it. I probably would have if it was like not a pod coffee that came from the pod machine because it would have been hotter if it had come from the kettle and it probably would have actually blistered and stuff but thankfully it didn't it just got on my stomach and on my arm but it seems fine now so I guess that's my punishment for trying to have a warm bath um, I had a, shower, a cold shower after it anyway so it is what it is um, I'm gonna go to bed now ish it's half past nine I want to get a good night's sleep it's my friend's engagement party tomorrow night so I want to be able to just take tomorrow chill Relax during the day, go and buy my card and all that sort of stuff. Should be good, I'm looking forward to it. But before I go to bed, I'm going to edit the vlog because I'm not fucking falling behind again. Thanks for watching, hope you're doing well. Take care and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.